The law of relativity is the 11th universal law in a 12 part video series on the 12 universal laws or the 12 spiritual laws of the universe. If you missed the first 10 videos about the other universal laws, then go to my channel, Carolina Sherman, and there will be a playlist where all these 12 videos and laws will appear. We only have one universal law to go in the next upcoming video and then we have completed this 12 part series to get this bigger understanding of how the universe works by diving deep into each universal law. And this video is about the law of relativity. But first of all, and most of all, a big welcome to my channel. I'm Carolina Sherman, and I'm a business and mindset coach who helps entrepreneurs like you to apply the universal laws to your business, to speed process your growth by doing the internal work first. I have a coaching program, Business in Alignment, that can help you to apply all these principles step by step so that you don't need to guess and hustle, but can operate from a place of total confidence in the process and total confidence in the universe. The law of relativity is a law that my mother has passed through to me over and over and over again. I remember us preparing lunch in the kitchen and she was at the sink washing the dishes and I was peeling carrots over here and we had a conversation about something that I can't remember, it doesn't really matter, but I can remember her saying, oh Carolina, if you look at those who have less than you, then you will always be happy. And I will remember her saying this affirmation in all sorts of information. If you look at those who have less than you, you will always be happy. But at that time, I thought it was a stupid affirmation. I didn't want to look at those who had less because I wanted that more. I wanted what the other people were having, more of than me. And that was a sentence or detail to the universal law that she forgot, my mother. She didn't know about or never told me that you can have it all, but you have to feel happy and content where you are. And when you look at those who have less, then you can be already happy in the situation where you are now, while in the meantime, eagerly looking forward to the manifestation of the thing that you want more of. And looking at things and people, situations, in this way really helps to relax. See everything in a new perspective and see it from a more universal way. Everything in life just is. A book is just a book when you see it laying there, but when you read a few books, you can co compare those books with one another and say that book is longer than the other one and that book is more intriguing or exciting than the other one. But when you just read one book, then it's just a book. Everything in life and in this universe just is. But from the moment we start to compare and start to place them in the rules and averages of society, then a behavior suddenly gets a meaning, suddenly it's weird or suddenly it's wrong. But the average of society doesn't need to be the only truth there is. The average of society or what society says doesn't need to be important for you. It's your view and the meaning that you give to a situation that matters, not society's. So when you are starting your new business and you feel behind or you feel unsuccessful, then who are you comparing yourself with? Are you comparing yourself to someone who is already five years in business? Or are you comparing yourself with someone who got a lot of funding from their parents? Or are you comparing your one-man show business to a business with five employees? And even when you compare your one-year-old business with one employee to another one-year-old business with one employee, you can always bring this in perspective. Everything is relative. That other business might look more successful or has more clients already than yours, but that person might have lost all his friends or his relationships in that last year. You don't know that. Everything is relative. Or that person might be lacking in other areas and looking at your business as way more successful than his or hers because you have way more followers on your or your post gets way more engagement or you already have 
a more professional looking website or you already have created three programs and that person maybe hasn't or only has one. So everything is always very relative. And you can choose to constantly be on the lookout for everything that makes you feel inferior and small and insignificant and as a result feel bad and depressed and anxious and unworthy. Or you drop that train of thought and you decide to interrupt that habit of comparing yourself with everything and everyone that from the outside perspective seems to have it better than you. And you start step by step doing the opposite. You start by giving praise to yourself about how good you are doing already. Celebrate all your little wins and try to find wins and positive aspects in your experiences that at first sight might come over as failures maybe. In the early stages of my previous business, I once did a launch of a program that I first wrote off as a total failure. I created a course and did some Facebook advertisement to sell that product and the whole launch was brought together out of fear and it resulted in spending 3000 euros on Facebook ads and reeling in only 1100 euros in sales. So I lost 2000 euros in this launch. On first sight a total failure. But I gained 500 leads on my email list and 11 people did sign up and raised their hand to say I want this product. There were a lot of wins as well. There was all this data and new information, there was opportunity for growth and improvement and I had to celebrate the fact that I took action and that actually it was a big win. 11 people wanted my product, how cool is that? The only lesson I had to take was that I needed to get better with my marketing strategy. So I'm going to repeat this again. Everything in life just is. And you have the freedom to assign a meaning to that situation or event or person that suits you the best. You can choose for a meaning that empowers you or you can choose for a meaning that makes you smaller and makes you feel bad. So our task here in this universe is always to try to expand and grow and find the best empowering meaning that can bring us that expansion and growth. When I was studying this law, I came across a quote of Eckhart Tolle from his book, A New Earth. In that book, he says, in physical form, you are and will always be inferior to some and superior to others. But in essence, you are neither inferior nor superior to anyone. True self-esteem and true humility arise out of that realization. In the eyes of the ego, self-esteem and humility are contradictory. And in truth, they are one and the same. So yes, he's totally right in this, right? We can totally feel humble by the fact that we aren't superior to anyone else in essence. And we can feel totally confident at the same time that we aren't inferior to anybody else in essence. What a relief! This knowing brings calm and peace in my awareness. How do you feel about this subject? Do you have inferior or superior problems from time to time? Let us know in the comments down below. I'm very curious. And if you found this video helpful or inspirational at all, please leave a comment, like this video, share the video. It all helps to spread this message and this video. It helps the YouTube algorithm to spread this video so you can have an immediate impact on other people's lives as well by this one small act of liking or sharing this video. And if you would like to stay updated on my new videos, then subscribe to this channel and hit the notification button to receive a notification when I post a new video. Keep watching, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.